Hey, it's Devin Ortiz. I'm right here in the biggest and fastest growing solar company in the entire United States. David is one of the most ethical men I've ever met. And you know me. I bring you all the information you need to make a well-informed decision. We call this real life shit. SDG&E, PG&E, and Edison are all in bed with each other with the state of California, which I actually was not privy to that information. And this is what's going on. We're already paying way too much for electricity as it is. And if you've been thinking about getting solar and you wait till after a date that David's about to tell you, this is how it directly affects your checking and your savings account. Yeah, so this is the most intimate time to go solar I've seen in the last 11 years I've been in this industry. Basically, when you go solar, here's how it works. You're gonna go on a net metering agreement with the utility company you're billed on an annual basis. But currently, right now, these utility companies are giving you full retail value for everything you produce from your solar system versus what you consume. That's how the economics look so good. So here's an example. If you're not home from 12 to 4 p.m., you're working, you're out on the job, Basically, you're putting electricity back on the grid from your system. They're giving you full retail value for that production at 45, 68 cents, depending on what time of day it is. The rules after April 15th, which is called net metering 3.0, they're going to be giving you 85% less, five to eight cents a kilowatt hour. Our job is to come out, educate you, so you know the rules, you know what you're doing, see if solar is a good fit, and make the right informed decision. We sell from an education standpoint. This isn't a hard sales pitch. We're gonna educate you to make the right choice. And so if you're thinking about, well, I may be selling, et cetera, how does this affect me? This actual grandfathered in rate will be transferred to the new homeowner. So when your neighbor's selling and we're selling, our property is going to be worth more because we're tied into tier one pricing and selling it back to the grid. And if you think about getting it later, that's how, you know I mean, you're going to be spending 85% less or you're actually going to be selling it back to the grid for 85% less. But if you know you're going to get solar, you know your electricity bill is already way too high. You need to contact me sooner rather than later because we only have X amount of days in order to make this happen. Go ahead and respond below. I'll send David out. There's no pressure sales approach. It's just a pressure of getting in information out there to the general public to make a well-informed decision. And if you go solar now, you will be grandfathered in for the next 20 years under this current structure. In addition, the federal tax law was just extended for the next 10 years and you're going to get a 30% rebate on your entire system size. So that's directly going to help your checking and savings and your taxes for the end of the year. I love you guys. I appreciate your time.